seven reasons why you should commit to starting your own cleaning business. About four and a half years ago, all I wanted to do was start my own cleaning business so I could earn enough money to leave my day job, enjoy my family during the day, and experience the freedom of working for myself, right? Well, four and a half years later, I've learned a whole lot more and have discovered way more reasons why that was the best decision I could have ever made. And so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing seven reasons why it's time for you to get started as well. And by the way, if we're just now meeting, my name is Darian Jarrett. I've built a profitable cleaning business in my hometown of Little Rock, Arkansas. And my wife and I have now expanded our business to Florida. And on this channel, we are documenting that journey as well as sharing valuable tips and information to help you grow your cleaning business as well. And so with that being said, let's get right into it with reason number one. Reason number one is a low startup cost and low overhead. This is one of the quickest ways into entrepreneurship. Even if you don't understand cleaning or janitorial services and everything that comes with this business, the amount of knowledge that you will learn by being in this business is priceless when it comes to what it takes to get started. After all of our legal expenses and everything to get our business up and running, we probably only spent about $300. Plus, all you need is a good vacuum, a good mop, mop bucket, some rags and some solutions and you are literally in business. So that's why it's my number one reason to get started in this business. Reason number two is personal and professional skill development. Yes, this one right here is very impactful to me because I've always been into self-education. I've always been the person that put my earbuds in and listen to podcasts, sermons, audio books and things like that that's gonna help me grow my mindset, right? When I was working at my day job at a warehouse, I was able to put my earbuds in and just listen to all that type of content every single day. And it was transforming the way I think. And I knew that I had to find a way to get out of that current position. By the way, this is when I realized that you become the content that you consume. So if you on something like this, trying to learn about business, trying to get better, trying to grow, then you already on the right track. But anyway, I was into all this personal development stuff, but I didn't have a vehicle to go and use the knowledge and the skills and everything that I was learning until I got into the cleaning business. I had to learn how to communicate better. I had to learn how to market. I had to learn how to, you know, be a leader and teach people how to help me out in this business and all of that stuff, man. I had to learn how to influence myself. I had to learn how to sell. I had to learn how to make my own website. And so all these skills just started stacking upon each other, right? And I seriously believe that by me starting like that and then forcing myself to learn and grow, I have become a better person. Hence the move to Florida. I really wanted to do this just so I could see the man that I will become in order to make a move like this happen. That's what I was thinking like, man, if I'm able to make this move to Florida and get my business in Little Rock automated, I would love to see that person, right? And so I say all that to say, start your cleaning business for the person you want to become, right? It's going to level you up, especially if you're the one going out there making the flyers, making the website, making the cold calls, and you start now doing the cleaning. I promise you, it's going to develop your mind, it's going to develop you as a person, and it's going to develop you professionally. That's why it's the number two reason why you should start your cleaning business right now. Reason number three is legacy. Yes, legacy. This business gives you the opportunity to build something and pass along to your children, a family member, or whoever. Along with that, you can hire your children. You can hire your family members or whoever. That's not always the best idea, and some people may tell you not to ever hire family, but this business gives you the opportunity to put your people in position to earn an income. And even when it comes down to people who may have circumstances in their past that are preventing them from getting a job or being able to excel in a career, this business is a way for them to be able to earn a good income. Also, 
If you have circumstances in your past that are preventing you from growing a career, this is a business that you can grow a career and be able to live a really, really nice life. Also, I love the fact that my kids get to see me operate my own business. I'm the one out there making the cold calls. I'm making the flyers. I'm passing the flyers out. I'm following up with people and I'm going out there and cleaning. I'm going out there and training as well as sending the invoices, going to the bank, cashing a check. Like they're seeing me do all this stuff in business, which on a subconscious level is programming them to think that way as well. And I say that because my parents, my stepdad and my mom, they started their cleaning business back when I was 13 or 14 years old. They bought into a franchise that you may have heard of called Jam Pro. And we like to say that we were their reluctant but fortunate first employees, right? We would go out there and clean buildings, clean car dealerships and clean clinics. Anything you can name, we probably have cleaned at a time or two, right? We would go to school during the day, go to football practice or track practice, and then we would go and clean buildings in the evening, right? That really, really was one of the best things that could have happened to us because it showed us the ins and outs of the business and it helped us learn work ethic. Now, granted, they haven't passed the business down to us. You know, they're still running their business, but it showed us that we could do the same thing as well. Reason number four is multiple streams of income and recurring revenue. This business is always in high demand and it has a steady income flow because if you get contracts, these contracts allow you to earn an income over and over and over every single month as long as you keep your people happy, right? This is why I like to call this contract security. Not job security, but contract security. Because if you get five, 10, or 20 contracts, which is what we would like to do, we would like to get enough contracts to the point where we have recurring revenue coming in. And if we just so happen to lose a contract, not saying that we want to, but if we lose a contract, we're not hurting for that. We're not in a position where we don't have anything else coming in because we still have multiple customers paying us every single month, right? But when you work a W-2 job, which by the way, I'm not knocking W-2 jobs, I'm not knocking W-2 income. Everybody needs a job, everybody needs to learn how to work, right? I worked a W-2 job, and so I'm speaking from experience right here. When I was working my W-2 job at a warehouse, I was let go on the spot. Back when COVID hit, it was a normal day at the warehouse. I ended up getting a phone call from one of my managers as I was working the machine, and he said, hey Darian, come on downstairs and bring all your stuff, and I'm like, bring out my stuff. Like, what do you mean? Now, mind you, Macy's had just let go of 125,000 employees. So I knew that, you know, it was close, but I didn't expect it to be that day, right? They ended up bringing us into a room and they got about 10 or 12 people in this room. And I already know what's about to happen. He gave us the dreaded talk like, guys, I hate to do this to you, but we got to let you go. Now, granted, we ended up getting unemployment and they had some pretty healthy checks at that time. And if you know, you know, but all that aside, pretty much had no control. But in this business, you have control over your income and your circumstances. You're not going to be just dropped unless you don't take care of your customers. Right. Which leads me into reason number five, which is recession and COVID proof. I say COVID proof because thankfully, before COVID hit, I had already started the business. We had already started getting a couple contracts, but it wasn't enough for me to leave my job. But when COVID hit, everybody started freaking out. Of course, the economy took a hit, but people were needing the deep cleanings and sanitization sprays around their buildings. If somebody contracted COVID in their building, they needed somebody to come in and spray the whole building down and get it cleansed, right? This is what we were able to tap into. We were able to figure out what are these guys charging? And we were able to go and do that service for people and earn a pretty good amount of income just by doing that. Also, our business took off because a lot of the medical facilities like dialysis clinics, doctor's offices, buildings like that, they stayed open. The only places that really closed were schools and daycares for us, right? So we were able to just stay in business. And this is when we seen that the medical offices, dentist offices, places like that, they were in high demand. And so we understood that this business was pretty much COVID proof because even though the foot traffic slowed down, they still needed people in there to go and clean. Reason number six is tax advantages and write-offs. Now, I am not a CPA. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a 
tax attorney, any of that stuff, right? So go and consult with your financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but it is true that you can write off expenses like your home office, travel, work vehicle, cell phone, computer, even some meals and entertainment that are based around your business. And of course, you get to write off your equipment and supplies that you use on a monthly basis, right? And another side note, this is exactly why you hear about a lot of the wealthy business owners who barely pay any money in taxes, right? It's because they've learned how to play the tax game. The United States tax system was designed for the business owner and the landowner. This is the primary way for you to escape the matrix. So start your business and go see for yourself. Reason number seven is flexibility. Yes, flexibility of time and schedule. You can tailor your cleaning service to fit your lifestyle. You can work your own hours. Of course, a lot of times it has to be after hours, but you can also get day porter positions. This is one of the positions that I took. It was at a VA clinic. It was two hours a day during the daytime because a lot of these government buildings want people to work. Hey baby, hang on, give me like five more minutes. Are you recording? Yes. A lot of these government contracts need day porters, which means they want people to clean the building while their staff is there. They don't give you keys to the building. They don't want you to be in the building after hours. So they will allow you to clean during the day. This is one of the first positions that I took in order to supplement my income and replace the income that I was working at my day job, right? It was two hours a day at a VA clinic. I was able to get in there around 7.30 and be out of there by 9.30. And I was able to make the same amount of income that I was working at my eight hour a day job. This is a real thing. And that's also why we were able to find out how to get great subcontractors, partners, and team members in our company in Little Rock and be able to expand our business to Florida. And now we are looking to do the same out here. And many of my customers in my Little Rock business don't even know that I have even moved to Florida, right? And all that to say, you can build your business up as well, whether you wanna do all the work or none of the work and be able to have people to help you out. It is possible, I know, because I've done it. I did not know that I would be here four and a half years ago, but I'm truly grateful that I did. And so that's my seven reasons why you should start your business as well. If you would like to learn how you can start, click or tap the screen. I have a video talking about the first foundational ways for you to get started. I appreciate y'all for watching. Peace.